Hey, what's good guys? This is The Daily Dose and welcome back again to the channel and of course also welcome back to our wonderful hobby. So for today's episode, we will be updating you on the latest news from Hot Wheels. We also got some latest release from uh, Mini GT, some really exciting stuff about them and also some unfamiliar brands out there. So anyways, if you are uh, new to this channel and if you'd like to get updated on the uh, latest news in the diecast world and of course sometimes i also do uh, diecast car unboxing and reviews if you kind of like that stuff please subscribe to the channel also click the bell icon so you guys won't miss our daily uploads and anyways first car for today's video thanks to w smart diecast for this uh, this is the indy 500 oval from the hot wheels race team as part of the 2021 end case so this is again the familiar blue with those checkered uh, flag pattern and of course the hot wheels logo for the hot wheels race team set and again as previously stated in uh, yesterday's video not the biggest fan of the hot wheels race team set i don't know why but anyways who's a big fan of the hot wheels race team set you can leave a comment down below pretty good looking car in my opinion right here and this is the muscle bound and look at this a gold muscle bound coming soon and look at that one that is yeah really cool i really like the muscle bound casting to be honest it looks like of course a uh, muscle car a mix of like a uh, camaro a dodge charger and whatnot looks pretty uh, sick in my opinion and uh, here's another look at the bugatti eb 110 ss right here this will be also part of the 2021 end case so this is the first color variant of the bugatti eb 110 right here so it does have a front tampos as the bugatti logo right here is detailed or printed uh, the headlights is part of the uh, windshield right here it is i think like dark uh, dark tint again the front end looks like uh, a nissan 300zx front end right here look at that doesn't have side mirrors though so that's a minus uh the rear right here is uh, pretty good detailed as you can see the tail lights have uh, decals even the plate numbers as eb 110 ss so at least it doesn't say what typically uh like uh, a lot of hot wheels cars say on the plate number which is like the hot wheels logo so we got the eb 110 ss right there so this car looks really good and my prediction is that this will be pretty sought after even though this is just a main line since this is the first ever release of the uh, eb 110 and uh, in spite of that i think this car seriously needs a wheel swap so as you can see right here not really liking the wheels on this so i i could see that one being swapped by a lot of uh like hot wheels enthusiasts out there so again this one desperately needs a wheel swap hit the like button if you uh, agree with me on that and here's a cool one right here thanks to future diecast bro for the update uh, here is the uh, Singapore Diecast Expo 2020 uh, exclusive car right here. So this is just not one exclusive car from them. Uh, we've got a couple more. So the first one is this really cool like bronze like gold RWB Porsche. Again, this is a custom car and it looks absolutely fantastic. And look at that. I just love the color right here and uh, even the wheels look outstanding. So it says idlers also on the tires again tampos on the right spot great details and whatnot look at the details on the rear so here's the packaging it says singapore diecast expo 2020 dinner with akira nakai san also here is another uh singapore diecast expo exclusive car right here a white rwb porsche it says 667 coats a cycle on the side not really particularly sure what 667 coast cycle is or what company it is if you do know you can leave a comment down below 
so our, our viewers would have any idea what that means but anyways absolutely sick looking car uh, I think the wheels are the ones uh, used on the stock premium RWB Porsche from Hot Wheels I kind of forgot how that looked but I think if my memory serves me right this is it but yeah this is a beautiful car right there yeah look at that great details right and uh, also check this one out another exclusive car right here from them this is a beautiful Nissan Skyline R34 and uh, as as what I've always said I think this is the best looking uh, Nissan Skyline ever so look at that one tons of tampos it says uh, Singapore diecast Expo on the hood just amazing details on this one right here got the uh, like the dragon Chinese dragon right there on the side also at the top right there so really beautiful car so uh, which is your uh, pick right here to be the best Singapore diecast Expo car uh, you can leave a comment down below and from mini GT check this one out this is really cool they've got a prototype of their upcoming Lancia Delta Integrale so I hope this will be released and uh, released soon because they have a lot of like sneak peek of prototypes way back then that still hasn't been released so I I hope this one will be released so yeah this is really really cool and I can see in the future they could be releasing maybe an Audi Quattro so let's pray for that this is totally awesome good news right here from Mini GT and this is from Stan's Hunter an unfamiliar brand these are 164 scale Audi RS6 Avant right here uh, we've got six variants of that all have roof boxes so they do have the same wheels and accessories right here uh, the main difference is uh, the just the colorway and uh, the red one is they call it the Misano red is a limited edition limited to 299 pieces and also the black one which is also limited to 299 pieces well actually all of these cars are limited to certain um, amounts so the most limited is just 299 pieces well you we can call some of these quote unquote more common ones which are limited to 399 pieces uh, the camo pattern right here and also the matte gray but these are really cool here's a close-up on the on there I mean Audi R6 Avant look at the fine details it has yeah to me these cars kind of look like uh, some cars from Kyosho or even Mini GT pretty cool I don't think the roof box is removable but yeah amazing details on this and uh, something new from green light right here check this one out this is a Charlie's Angels Jeep yeah check that one out this is this is beautiful I'm a big fan of military Jeep and uh, yeah if I can get this one if I can see this one here, right here I, I'm pretty much sure I'll be getting this I have the RC version of this one so that is really cool and they also got a 1981 Chevy El Camino right here in black with uh, like racing stripes red racing stripe so absolutely stunning right here from a green light and uh, yeah that will be all for our quick news and update for today I hope you enjoyed this one if you did please like the video please subscribe again to the channel and I'll be seeing you on our next episode and by the way guys just an announcement here yeah I do have a second channel that primarily will be containing uh, Xbox Series X gameplay so if you like that kind of stuff uh, subscribe to that channel I'll put the link down below and yeah I hope you also also enjoy that so anyways hope to see you on our next episode bye bye guys have a great day thank you guys for watching